A university in Canada has removed the scales from its gym because they don't want students obsessing over their weight. Carleton University's manager of health and wellness said, quote, we don't believe in being fixated on weight has any positive effect on your health and well-being. Well, what does he know about health and wellness? Some students support the decision. One woman noted, scales are very triggering. I think people are being insensitive because they simply don't understand. They think eating disorders are a choice when they're actually a serious illness. Others argue that certain athletes, like boxers, need to be able to check their weight and that the school shouldn't kowtow to a small group of complainers. After some online, uh, after some online backlash, <laughs> oh, some online backlash, I get it. Yes. The university now says it will reconsider the decision. To be fair, the scale was oh. somewhat triggering. <laughs> Look at that. The, I think Shamu, that's... I mean, people like Shamu, didn't they? Yeah. It's not necessarily an insult. Was that Rosie's pet name? <laughs> no. Why did you... Have you never... Have you done a show without mentioning Rosie? Yeah, of course. Sometimes uh, I'll mention Kelly she, Osborne. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Michael, scales are, you know, they, they, they're needed. And the people have to make their weight. they got to weigh themselves. I weigh myself every day. And you do. And send it to my coach. But everything, this woman's crazy. First of all, eating disorders aren't actually about your weight. It's about control and losing a sense of control. So the scale's not going to be triggering. It's how you look in the mirror. And as someone who has a full-blown eating disorder, <laughs> I'm not even kidding at all, uh -huh. yeah. uh, it's... It, the scale, they're going to find a way to weigh themselves. They're going to weigh their food. They're going to weigh themselves in their dorm room. So this is just absolutely nonsensical. And if you're worried about your eating disorder, you're not going to the gym. You're not going to see it there anyway. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, that, yeah. That does make I mean, the right. thing is, that, Kathy, you, you disagree? You think well, that scale, so, uh, Do you think scales are triggering? They, well, yeah, the anorexics do go to gyms. I mean, that there's, oh, they overexercise, yes. They yeah. overexercise, so yeah. they do go to gyms. But that's so, yeah. not an eating disorder, that's a success story. But he's right. <laughs> uh, isn't Michael correct that, you know, they're going to do it anyway? They look in the mirror and they don't see, they see someone fatter than they are. Right, you know, so then the, 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 the scale, yeah, it'll trigger it. And, and wrestlers and boxers, I mean, they have eating disorders because they have to weigh themselves so much. So I think, uh, I think these poor people weigh themselves yeah. and then they get the eating disorders and it's... It could be a whole cycle. But it's just, the mirrors, these are the schools. mirrors are much more triggering than the scales. Come they on. should get rid of all the mirrors too. Yeah. Well, yeah. They can't get rid of everything. What if you have a, uh, you know, if you're can. allergic to chalk, you, you, you can't take away the blackboards. The, the mirrors are more triggering because sometimes I'll look in the mirror and see someone more successful than I am, and then I realize it's a, I've had a lot of Nyquil. <laughs> uh, the scale issue. They're not being forcibly weighed. They can avoid the scale. It's not like the scale is... They're not at Hansel and Gretel University where yeah. they're checking them all the time. <laughs> if you are triggered by the idea of a scale, if you have an issue with a scale in a room, your yes. issue is not with a scale in a room. Right. You have issues of your own creation. And there's, there's got to be a limit to, like... We can't have every triggering thing removed. I mean, at this point, it's an inanimate object. Just don't look at it. Don't care about but it. But, Joe, triggers are inanimate objects also. I, well, I think some of the people complaining are inanimate objects. So they would be worried about uh, seeing a scale that might weigh them. It's, come on, it's like, come on, how many things are we going to ban? We're running out of nouns. We're running out of things to ban. Is that true, Joe? Uh, not yet. No. Because if we're going to ban triggers at gyms, we need to ban treadmills. People fall off those sometimes, and it is embarrassing. Yeah. And they should ban people with big muscles. <laughs> they make other people not feel like they have as big a muscle. <laughs> You're making sense. But that's the thing, yeah. though. I mean, you like see other people at the that. gym, you get jealous of them, right? I get a lot of, I got a lot of nasty looks. Yeah. <laughs> People because of my muscle, because of your big muscle. Yeah. <laughs> I got that. I got that. Thank I got you. that. But isn't it true that this is why people, Kathy? You know, for instance, they have that chain of gyms just for women because women are right. insecure because exactly. they're getting leered at by men, right? Exactly. So, yeah. so they're gonna yeah, so get rid of the the the, the weights, the scales at the gyms, and then maybe the women will return and work out with the men. And well, men have eating disorders as well, so just no. let's get rid of the mirrors and the scales and other things. I never know if you're serious, Kathy, but I hope they keep the scales and they tell those complainers to go home.